Hey everyone, welcome to the Ruben channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about my Brooks Ghost 12 running shoe and my experience with it. I bought this shoe in November of 2019 to run a full marathon here in Nashville called the Flying Monkey. Very hilly marathon. And this shoe performed flawlessly for me. I had zero foot issues, which was awesome. The shoe currently has about 240 miles on it, according to my Garmin app. I generally will try to get three to 400 miles out of a shoe if I can, but you know, my feet always uh, tell the truth. So we'll see how far this one takes me. I can tell you that this shoe has been very comfortable on any run that I've run. I generally speaking, I'll run between 20 and 40 miles a week, depending on the kind of time I have, but I try to always get in at least 20 miles a week. And I'll run anywhere from a 5K to, uh, on the weekends, I'll get some longer runs in 10 to 12, 15 miles if I can. Uh, and I've been very happy with it. Uh, sorry the shoe's dirty. We ran yesterday through the park and they're doing some work in the park. So we had to go off, off the paved part and uh, got a little dirty, but Hey, they've been awesome. So let me, let me read to you a little bit from the website. There's a little bit of uh, literature there uh, on the brooksrunning.com site. Uh, it says, Balanced Soft Cushioning, Biomogo, Biomogo, DNA and DNA Loft Cushioning work together to provide a just right softness underfoot without losing responsiveness and durability. Yet it feels lighter than ever. Uh, this shoe does come in at 10.4 ounces. It's pretty light. It's not, you know, there's lighter shoes out there, of course, but it's, it's a pretty light shoe. Smooth ride, no matter how your foot lands, our segmented crash pad and integrated system of shock absorbers uh, will cushion every step and stride for smooth heel-to-toe transitions. So, yeah, these little segmented shock absorbers. Um, and I, my foot strike is pretty normal, I think, heel to toe when I run. Um, and I have a kind of a neutral, I'm not over pronated or supinated, supinated. Soft, secure fit by placing stretch and structure where you need it most, the newly engineered mesh and 3D fit print upper practically disappears on your foot. So I wear a size 10 and a half and this shoe is a 10 and a half, so they fit pretty true. Uh, some, some shoes that I buy, um, I have to go up to an 11 if they're narrow. So the 10 and a half fits my foot well. Really, I just have no, I've had no issues with the shoe. Um, the style is good. I, you know, they come in all kinds of colors. You can visit brooksrunning.com and see all the uh, flavors they have. The shoe type is neutral. Um, it has a midsole drop of 12 millimeters and it comes in at 10 and a half ounces, 10.4 ounces. Things I like about the shoe, they're comfortable. Uh, the laces stay tied. I don't have any lacing issues. Um, my foot stays firm in the shoe. I think new shoes with all this technology they have with this real, very thin, lightweight upper uh, material. It tends to almost like you're wearing a sock in some of these shoes and the Brooks have kept held my foot pretty well. I do have a wide foot but they the upper is stiff enough that it holds my foot together and I, and I like that. Hey so if you're looking for a running shoe that'll take you from a 5k to a 26.2 mile marathon I would highly recommend the Ghost 12. Of course everybody's foot is different so go to your running store try on different brooks models and see what fits your foot best most importantly is that you're out there healthy happy safe and running in good shoes so uh, i look forward to bringing you another video thank you for stopping by and i'll see you next time thanks